so I'm just just leaving my therapist and uh, you know I'm kind of open with that I think we need to uh, be much more strong uh, as it relates to mental uh, illness we don't we don't deal with that enough in our community and as a result I think a lot of our problems is because psychologically we won't invest time with ourselves uh, and so leaving therapy and just you know meditating on what I'm teaching tonight brotherhood I want to invite all of the brothers to come out uh, if you can tonight man 1445 23rd Avenue uh, 23rd Avenue in the city of Oakland. If you're in the area, uh, please stop by. That's tonight at seven o'clock. We'll have a little food afterwards. Um, so I'm pon pondering and meditating on that. And um, the Lord said something to me in therapy. And we've used that word, that statement, the Lord said so much until, you know, sometimes it it um it doesn't carry the impact i think it needs to but i'm leaving there and pondering this and something that was said in therapy just kept resonating in my mind and in my spirit and i wanted to share it with you all and again like any video that i post you know if it helps share it um and he said to me he said now that that is over i'm just talking about a certain matter in my life he says what you gonna do with you what are you gonna do with you and that thing just kept going over and over and over in my head and I wanted to share with you what the Lord just reminded me of and somebody who knows when I say remind you a lot of things we know we forget and so sometimes it's not God teaching me a new truth it's not me getting a new revelation it's God just reminding me of something that I forgot that's why I thank God he's a repeater because man if he didn't repeat himself I'd be in a world of trouble I don't know where I'd be if God didn't repeat himself so that question kept coming what you gonna do with you what are you gonna do with you and I wanted to share with somebody today. We know what other people should do. We know what other people have done to us. We know what we've done for other people. But what are we going to do with ourselves? Will we continue to complain? Are we going to continue to blame the various issues of the day? And that's not to say they're not real, they're not relevant, they're not uh, strong and hard. But are we going to are we going to keep using the condition that we're in, or the condition that we find ourselves in by way of society? What are we going to do with ourselves? What are you going to do with you? But there are two things the Lord shared with me. He says, the first thing, Keith, you got to do with you is you got to know, and this is going to sound funny, but I'm serious. He said, you got to remember who's in control and in charge. Because you have the tendency sometimes, Keith, to think, you got everything. Oh, I know I'm talking to somebody. I know I am. I hope you hear me. You have the tendency to think that you're controlling it all. He says the first thing you got to do with you is you got to remind you that I'm in charge. I'm God, not you. No, uh -uh. I'm God. I'm sovereign. God says the first thing, Key Clark, you have to do with you is remember that I'm in control. And guess what? 
Keith, I can do whatever I want to do, how I want to do it, with whom I want to do it with. I can use whoever I want to use. I, I, can, I can bless you in ways you can't even fathom. I can do things in your life that you never thought was possible because I'm in control. So the first thing you got to do with you, he said to me, and I'm saying to you, now this don't apply to you if you don't have a problem with controlling your environment, if you don't have a problem with making sure things are right for you, and you know, you do what you got to do to make sure that if that ain't your problem, then bypass this video. But if it is, if it is, and you know some other people, I want you to help me get this word out. What are you going to do with you? The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remember that he's in control. That's the yielding in you. First thing, he's in control. I got to yield to that. I got to accept the fact that I ain't running nothing. He is. Oh, and that's hard to accept. Man, when you working, when you putting forth the effort and doing it, and it, that's hard to accept the fact that after all of your efforts, God still can make it go another way. Why? Because he's God. And being free in him and knowing him and getting to love him and accepting the fact that he loves you and that he's crazy about you, accepting those truths does not mean he's Santa Claus God. Because there's sometimes, watch this y'all, recognizing he is in control and that he is sovereign and that at the end of the day, he's the big ball of shot caller. Recognizing that, you know what that does? It really, when I think about it, it frees me from the pressures of having to fix everything. See, the problem when you think it's when you think you're in control, the problem with that is you have a tendency to take the blame. And on the other hand, you have a tendency to look for the credit. But he says you ain't in control. I can't see your comment if you swipe because I swiped the thing off you. I don't know if that says that or not. I want you to think I'm rude ignoring me. He says that's that's the that's the, the why in you. Why owe you? What you gonna do with you? The first thing is you're gonna yield to the fact that he's in control. And say that. God. You're in control. You are in. I can't control this. You are in control. But then. The second thing you're going to do with you. I think you ought to do. I said two things, three things. I'm sorry. The second thing. Is you got to offer him what you got. Offer God what you got. Man, listen to me. I'm going to talk a minute today. I, I'm going to talk a minute today. I hope I don't bore y'all. You got to yield to the fact that he's in control. God, you got this thing. But then too, I'm going to offer you what I got. Man, do you not know you don't have to pretend with God? Do you not know that you can be open and honest with God? You ready for this? Without a filter. Without a filter. Offer him what you got. What you mean? What does the honesty come in at? Because I don't have to pretend and act like I'm something with God. Lord, I'm bringing, here's what I'm offering. I'm offering, sometimes I got issues. Uh, sometimes the stuff that go on in my mind, I don't know where it comes from. And I water it. I feed it. Uh, Lord, I'm bringing to you uh, a broken and contrite spirit. I got uh, issues I from a child, I, I mean, whatever it is, you got to offer him that. Because when you're offering God what you're working with, when you're offering God yourself, what you're doing at that point is you're saying to this God that you're yielding to, that you know is in control, here's what you're saying to him. I'm saying because you're in control, you can take what I have and do some amazing things with it. So I'm not worried about how I'm going to get to Z 
or rather how I'm going to get to C if all I'm working with is A. I'm going to let you add the B. Now you say A, get from A to B to C. Excuse me. I, I don't know how I'm going to get to, to C. All I'm working with is the letter A, but I'm going to believe and trust that you're going to add the B. I don't know how it's going to work out, but I'm offering myself to you and everything I got to work with. I ain't got uh, a six-figure job. But I'm going to give based upon what I got. I'm going to give according to your word, but it's going to be based upon what I got. And I'm not tripping if the tithe that I'm giving and sharing, and not because God's going to get me, but out of a commitment to him and a love for his work. If all that means I got is 10, I'm going to give the 10. I'm going to offer it up to you. And I'm saying this because one of the things the enemy has done to work on this preacher's mind is making me think I ain't good enough. And when you don't think you're good enough, you won't offer what you have. There's somebody listening to me right now. You know you need to get to the C in life. And all you got is the A. And because all you working with is the letter A, you don't think that's worth offering. You got ideas. You got uh, 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 gifts in you. you. You've got opportunities before you, but you're not seizing those opportunities. You ain't going after that because you don't think you got nothing to offer. I don't know what that meant, y'all. You can't turn your phone. Oh, I don't know what that was. Offer what you got. Man, the Bible is filled. I don't know if those who are watching, if y'all are Bible uh, readers, would have you. But there's an episode in the Bible where a fella has two fish and five loaves of bread. And Jesus needs to feed the multitude. And the little boy offered what he was working with. Offering what he's working with. And because I ain't in control, because I'm not the one in control, whatever I give him to work with, he going to have to make that happen. Not me. Yield to the fact that he's in control. Offer him what you're working with. And then you, the last thing, you ready for this? Understand. That's what you got to do with you. Understand. God is doing what's best for you. Understand that God is doing what's best for you. I know you ain't always like it. I know stuff you're dealing with, you know, you'd rather not have to deal with it, but you're in it. And God is doing what's best for you. You ready for this? And sometimes what we are angry and upset about, y'all, is that what's best for us ain't always what we want. I know, I know, I'm telling you. What's best for us is not always what we want. It ain't what we want. So you got to understand when God is, who's in control, when he is setting things up and you can't manipulate the outcome, when God is putting stuff in place and he's allowing things to happen you've done what you're supposed to do and even if it's uh, uh some bad consequences you're dealing with even in the consequences you still see god teaching you and you still see god developing you when you understand he's in control he's developing you and you're giving him what you got you're not pretending lord this me i'm offering here i am just as i am messed up tore up yeah, this me then you understand that whatever he's doing and whatever he starts to do, it's what's best for you. It's what's best for you. That's what he told me. Leaving therapy. What you going to do with you, Keith? Yield to the fact that I'm in control, man. You ain't running nothing. I know that's for somebody. I know I ain't the only one. It says offer. Offer what you got. Keep bringing me what you got. Keep, don't try to fix it. No, I bring that in. And then understand when I start working, when I start working, partner, 
I'm doing what's best for you. My prayer today is that we would do the right thing with ourselves. I thank y'all for listening to me. I'll holler.